It's time for the finale of the tag title tournament where the team of Joe Biden and The Undertaker, the Dead Men, take on the Yeet Masters of Cody Rhodes and Jay Uso. And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. This match is going to take place at a godforsaken Walmart because we're built different. It's going to be kind of weird having to fight in a Walmart parking lot instead of an actual stadium. But no matter what environment Big Balls Biden wrestles in, the outcome of the match will still be the same, with the referee raising my arm in victory, and Undertaker's arm, of course. You almost forgot about me there, Joe. I guess the dementia is starting to kick back in, but jokes aside, this is your time to prove yourself that you are ready to wrestle with the big guys because this isn't going to be me helping you get the win like last time. It's going to be all you. Yeah, that's right, Biden. This is your chance to show me that the training we've been doing with each other for almost two months now has paid off. Don't worry, boss. I got this. And Joe, me and Roman did actually do you an accidental favor last episode by attacking Cody and Jay. So maybe that will give you an advantage. I hope it does and doesn't at the same time. But anyway, here come the idiot masters acting like a whole bunch of goofs. Donald, please inform me why your fat ass is here right now. Because if I recall, just last episode, me and my yeet master friend Jay Uso beat you and your bitch boy Roman Reigns. So you have no privilege to be here. I'm the big D Trump. I deserve to be here, Cody. And do you want to know why? No, not really. Because I don't just have DNA. I have USA. And I am the most American and American can be American because the definition of American revolves around me. Because I am the most American you can possibly be American and- Okay, I think we all get it, bro. You can stop yapping now, holy shit. Yes, please shut the hell up, Trumpy. And I do wish Joe and Taker good luck in this match. I actually have a lot of respect for you two. But if we're really being honest here, then they have no chance against us Yeet Masters. The power of the Yeet is just too strong. The power of the Yeet? Are you kidding me? That's just so ridiculous, because if you think I've done all of this training and work to better myself and get this far just to lose, then you must be some kind of dumbass. Well, to be fair, I haven't fought an 81-year-old decaying fossil that should already be buried six feet deep, so maybe he's a little stronger than we think he is. <laughs> but seriously, Joe, I actually have a lot of respect and gratitude towards you and Taker, and I wish you good luck in this match. Man to man, let's shake on it. Joe, don't shake Cody's hand. All of the children are yelling at their screen right now, telling you to not shake his hand, so don't do it. Come on, Joe, why'd you have to be a pussy and shake his hand? You should have slapped him and got revenge for all of the crap he and Jay said in your face, you big baby. Well, wait, did you just say, but, but, wait, no, never mind, but, uh, but, but, but I did just hit Cody with a Bidenomic stunner there. Just don't know why Jay had to rush in here and attack me for. Yeah, now that was a shitty move by you, Jay. It was obvious Cody was going to kick out, so why'd you step in there? Well, if you have a problem with it, then you can get the hell out of the Yeet Master's ring. Yeet. I don't know what the point of that one was, Jay, but Cody, take this knee strike to your head, and damn, my dog really had to move out of the way. Why wouldn't I counter it? No one wants to get knocked out with a knee, but take this crossroads that will sure knock you out instead. I'm betting all of Donald Trump's money that I kick out of this crossroads, and just like that, I won the bet. But I guess I won't be paid anything because Donald is a brokey, as Andrew Tate would say. Wait, 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 what in the fuck are you saying right now? Like, you really calling me a brokey? God damn, Joe, you are just, just an idiot. You're an idiot. There's no other word to describe you, Joe, because I am not a brokey. I am one rich son of a bitch with seven billion dollars. Uh... Donnie, can you please pipe down because I'm trying to have a match here, so I'd appreciate if you... And please, God help us. please, for the love of God, tell me how you're able to bet on something that you already know the outcome to. So you're telling me that you already knew you could kick out of that crossroads, so you placed a bet for my entire fortune? You must be on some pure Colombian cocaine. Donnie, please stop yapping. Uh, damn. damn! Damn! That was crazy. Joe, where did you learn that move from? I never taught you that one. I, I don't know how I did that. That, it was pretty sick. I'll tell you that. I just don't know what to name it. So leave some suggestions in the comments on what I should name that new move of mine that I just completely obliterated Jay with. And there's the replay. Just incredible shit right there. They're going to come up with the worst names you could think of, El Mao. It's going to be disgusting. Bro, don't discount my fans like that. It's time to hit this 81-year-old fossil with the one and only Uso splash. And for the one... How in the hell did you kick out of that at the freaking one count? You're just stupid, Joe. The literal definition of no yeet is what you are. The word yeet is even more yeet. stupid than I could ever be. 
but take this Bidenomics stunner to end this match for good. And your new tag team champions, The Undertaker and Joe Biden? Well, shit, never mind. I guess God hates me. Never underestimate one of your yeet masters, Mr. President. <gasps> yeet. Yeah. Biden casually bullying me right now? No offense, Joe. I actually kind of want you to win this, but the only fans you have are probably little girls, or at least you hope they are. I probably have way more fans than that. But even if my only fans are little girls, which is actually quite weird now that I think about it, at least all of my fans are not conspiracy theorists and are mentally disturbed. Yeah, that's right, Joe. Cook that pig. I bet his bacon would taste very good, not gonna lie. Dude, you think you can talk all of this crap and get away with it? The Big D Trump will gladly come to your house and fight your dumb ass. I'll fuck you up, bitch. Now don't lie to yourself, Donald. You know you would never do that. Oh, shut up, Cody. I'll do the same to you if I really wanted to. A little episode six repeat, huh? No, God, please no. Wait, did you guys get the reference? Man, I just love The Office. Who doesn't? Now please tell me how you're going to fight me if you can barely walk. You have to constantly drag your fat around with you. I almost feel bad. But at least when I'm in the store, people don't go up to me trying to grab me, thinking that I'm a pumpkin they can put in their yard for Halloween. You cooked him there, Taker. But how about I tag you in and you cook the hell out of these yeet masters? What do you say? Well, uh, Joe, you seem to be getting Jay pretty good there in the corner, so I think you got this. Dude, this is a literal tag team match. The whole point of the match is that you have another partner. This is a handicap match at this point. This isn't going to help me become a better wrestler. Now, God damn it, man. So now your own teammate doesn't want to help you? Damn, Biden, now I have no problems with you or anything. But maybe your wrestling career is just not meant to be. Now, Cody, get in this ring so we can hit this guy with the 1D. And just like that, the Yeet Masters are the first ever tag team champions in this series. But we're not just any tag team champions. We are the Yeet Champions. Yeet. Though I don't really know what happened to my championship belt. The whole front of it just spawned or something out of existence, but whatever. Now I hate to say this, but you got screwed over, Joe, like Undertaker didn't even attempt to tag himself in. And you think he cares for you? You think Stone Cold cares for you even? Because if you do, you may want to rethink yourself. We attacked them to try and injure them because I wanted you to prove yourself to the world that you mean something. I wanted you to become better and, but I guess that was all for nothing thanks to your so-called friends. Because in reality, Joe, I'm your only friend if you like it or not. Well, Donnie, I- Don't listen to that sack of shit, Joe. He doesn't know anything and he is a liar for saying that he is your only friend. In fact, he may very well be your biggest enemy, something that neither I or Stone Cold are. So let's just get out of here. We'll get another shot at championship gold soon. All right, Taker, but... No, you're not going anywhere until you finally admit what you really think of my dog, Joe Biden. We all know you and probably Stone Cold, but specifically you are using him for your own personal gain. The only person I allow to do that to me is Melania. Actually, I think you should admit that this whole thing you're saying about you attacked the Yeet Masters because you wanted to give Joe a better chance at winning this match was a huge lie and was actually an excuse to you and Roman losing that match. Big D Chiefs? More like Big D assholes. No, I'm not! Yes, you are, Donald! You know what, guys? I'm done. I'm done with all of this. I'm out. Oh, look what you did. You just made Joe leave and go back into the Walmart. I wonder what he's gonna buy. Dude, I didn't do anything. That was all you and your yapping. Now, Stone Cold, where are you going? Oh, come on, Austin. What was that for? Ah, uh, you know what, Donald? You're making my life a living hell right now, so how about we fight next episode? You and me, one-on-one. -on -one. All right, Bet. You and me next episode. Can't wait to turn you from a fictional dead man into a real dead man. Donald, that was not funny at all. Oh, don't worry, Taker. I'm well aware. Now that had to have been the biggest yap session ever. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Dude, she was crazy last night. Like, she was all on me. I was literally a jungle gym for that hoe. Let me tell you, that was probably the best night of my life until the next day where her friend came over and she... Oh, look, it's the 51st president of the United States, George W. Bush. What's good, Slime? What did you just call me? Sorry, man, I'm a little buzzed right now. Can't you tell? Just look at Brock. He's so buzzed, he ain't even moving. Is he even blinking? He may not be with us, I fear. 
Well, have you guys see Roman Reigns anywhere? I haven't seen him for like a week, and since we're wrestling at the Walmart today, I thought he would be in here. Now, I haven't seen that guy actually wait. No, I have seen him. He's right there. You need to find God CM Punk, and Thanks I need to advice. find my tribal queef. Oh, wait, is that Roman? Wait, no, that's just an idiot. Never mind. Oh, hey, Donnie. So I heard you've been looking for Roman. Well, I haven't seen him, but oh boy, I do see those 22 inches of heaven down under that I want to play with. What the fuck? Oh, come on, Donald. I can suck it better than CM Punk could. Nah, shut up, you. Don't ever talk to me like that again. The only person that is allowed to talk to me like that is your mother. Now get your dumb ass out of here. Ah! Uh... El Mao, you dumb bitch. I really have to find Roman now and not have my salty log be harassed like that. Sorry, little one. Where is this guy at? Maybe he's at the McDonald's. Now he would most definitely be there. I'm not saying that because I want to eat their food, of course. And goddamn, look at that fatty. He probably eats more McDonald's than me. Wait, no. No way in hell. The red glove, the ball, oh my god. Roman, is that you? And don't mind what I just did there. I'm pretty good at levitating. Oh shoot, Donnie. You weren't supposed to see me like this. Like I've still been sad over losing to Cody. Even though we did beat him and Jay up and it did feel good, I still can't fathom not having a title. So I guess I just decided to eat a lot. And yeah, now I look like you. Jesus Christ, Roman, I wonder how much you weigh. We may need a scale, but you'd probably break the damn thing. The only person that should be able to do that is your mother, but I guess you inherited that trait from her. That's pretty ironic coming from you, but just look at all of this food. It looks so tasty. Just what should I buy? Kind of thinking about buying the whole entire aisle. No, 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 Roman, you're not going to be buying any more junk food. Let's just go to McDonald's and that will most definitely solve your weight problem. It's not like I have one. You've taken everything away from me. And of course, I'm talking about the you prison. You really think you can drone strike my house, hurt my family, and ruin our lives, and not face any consequences like that? No, that's not going to happen. Yeah, some people may call me a hypocrite for the things I am saying, but the people of Yemen could be drone strike my city. You know me and my oil, but to drone strike me back? What did I do to deserve this? I am not going crazy because you've just made a huge 